Welcome to your writing tutorial. This tutorial will help you write a paragraph response to a prompt from any discipline – math, science, social studies, English, and more. While you watch, feel free to pause to take notes, rewind to understand important details, and look at your assignment and writing as you attend to the example in the video. Ready? Let's go. Today we will explore sequence writing. This is the second video on this writing topic. If you have not seen the first video, you may wish to review it. The writing task sometimes involves explaining numerous steps, explaining different ways that something might happen, or explaining different impacts of a concept. Today, we will focus on explaining numerous steps, as we will be focusing on a mathematical reflection. Here's the prompt. Explain how to solve the inequality negative 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 20 step by step to another student that is struggling with the process. Do not forget to describe all of the rules they must remember while solving it. Here is a sample student answer. Here is how to solve the inequality of negative 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 20. It is very important to understand the basic rules you have to remember when solving it. The mo most important rule is if you are multiplying or dividing with a negative number, the less than or equal to sign is going to be flipped over. The next important rule is if you flip numbers, you must flip the less than or equal to sign. The first thing is to subtract 8 from both. Then, the next part is divide by 2. That means x is greater than or equal to negative 6. The student answer demonstrates flaws in writing, flaws that we must fix. Let's ignore the mathematical accuracy for a moment and focus on the writing. What about the topic sentence? This student has written, here is how to solve the inequality of negative 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 20. The topic sentence is crucial in a well-written paragraph, and every topic sentence responding to a prompt must complete two tasks. First, it must restate the prompt. Second, it must add an answer. This student's topic sentence is flawed for both reasons. Looking at the prompt again, we can examine it to understand what the subject of the topic sentence should be, and this is your first step. Understanding what the subject of your topic sentence should be is crucial to writing a good topic sentence. If we read the prompt carefully, we will notice that the teacher is asking you to explain to another student the process. The teacher has implied that you should be speaking to a student and using the you. You is an effective subject to use for paragraph writing if you are explaining to another person. How do you know when to do it? How do you know when to use you? Your teacher will show you through the prompt language. This prompt has indicated to another student, showing that it is okay to use the second person voice, the you. So use it. It will be clear. The topic sentence right now uses here as a sentence subject. Here is unclear. We want to revise it with you. So we can write, you can solve the inequality of negative 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 20. This is a strong subject that helps us restate the prompt. The math teacher knows from the first moment of your paragraph that you are focusing on the prompt itself. But of course, we must answer the prompt in the topic sentence, something that the student originally has not done effectively. You can solve the inequality negative 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 20 by remembering the rules of solving inequalities and following three steps. Answering the prompt does not take much. In fact, this answer has simply restated some more of the prompt and added the idea of three steps. Three steps is enough to show that you're answering the prompt. You do not need to provide excessive details in that topic sentence. Providing excessive details demonstrates that you don't understand what a topic sentence does. A topic sentence generally shows what the answer is, not specifically. Details will fall out through the rest of the paragraph. Something as simple as three steps can show an answer. Your math teacher now knows that you have listened to the prompt and you have an idea of where the answer will go. The student answer is now greatly improved. But let's improve it further. Let's consider strong sentence structure throughout the paragraph. Here's a sentence. It is very important to understand the basic rules you have to remember when solving it. We want to focus on strong subjects and sentences, and right now, this sentence uses the word it, which is not a very strong subject. If we want to use a strong subject, 
we could use the U again. You must understand the basic rules you will follow when solving it. This sentence focuses on the U. It is clearer, shorter, more to the point. The it becomes a U. The sentence is improved with a strong subject. Let's look at another example. The mo most important rule is if you are multiplying or dividing with a negative number, the less than or equal to sign is going to be flipped over. Let's use a strong subject. Once again, we can use the U. If you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, the less than or equal to sign will be flipped over. Rule was the original sentence subject, and it was not exceptionally clear. It also was not consistent with previous sentences. By using the U, we have created a consistent voice and a consistent series of sentence subjects. Now, the writing is greatly improved. We see consistency of voice, consistency of subjects, simply because the writer has paid attention to the prompt and understood what the sentence subject is, and that writer has used that sentence subject throughout. Now is the time for us to consider transition language, transition words and phrases. Each sentence within a paragraph must relate to the sentences around it, and transition words and phrases can help you do that. In sequence writing, transition words and phrases are key to understanding the steps of a process. So, you may wish to use simple words like first, next, last, then, or finally. You can also use words and phrases like also or in addition. These simple words and phrases can show how one sentence leads into another. It will show your math teacher that you understand the development of ideas. Simple words like first and next improve this paragraph. You must understand the basic rules you will follow when solving it. First, that indicates that this is the first rule. Next, that indicates that you are talking about the second rule. The reader and your math teacher both understand how each sentence develops a separate rule. Transition language has helped organize ideas. Let's use transition words and phrases for the sequence, the step-by-step -step process that follows at the end of the paragraph. We can introduce that sequence with an additional sentence. Right now, the paragraph moves into the sequence without much introduction to it. I have included the word, now, and the, f the sentence follow three steps to solve the inequality to introduce that sequence. Now, we give the sequence with transition language, first, second, and third. Transition language has started with now to indicate that I am talking about the sequence at this point, and first, second, and third to give each step of the sequence. Each sentence provides a different step, and words like first, second, and third will show the reader what each step is. The student answer is greatly improved. You can solve the inequality negative 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 20 by remembering the rules of solving inequalities and following three steps. You must understand the basic rules you will follow when solving it. First, if you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, the less than or equal to sign will be flipped over. Next, if you flip numbers, you must flip the less than or equal to sign. Now, follow three steps to solve the inequality. First, subtract 8 from both sides. Second, divide both sides by 2. Third, flip the less than or equal to sign to a greater than or equal to sign. That means x is greater than or equal to negative 6. Aside from some small mechanical errors, this paragraph is clear. The sentences flow, transition language has helped, and strong subjects provide clear focus. Let's review. In constructing a topic sentence, do not forget to answer the prompt by finding the correct subject and providing an answer. Read the prompt carefully and use your mathematical knowledge to construct this sentence. Second, use strong subjects. Use strong subjects throughout and pay attention to each sentence. Find the subject and make sure it is the clear thing, idea, or person that you wish to discuss. Finally, use transition language, simple transition language, such as single words like next, first, or last. You can use transition phrases, like in addition, but avoid complex and complicated transition phrases and sentences. Go for simple, clear, and direct. Your math teacher will appreciate it, and your math teacher will appreciate a paragraph that clearly shows your mathematical knowledge in a step-by-step -step structure.